Hello there, today we are going to be comparing the render times in DaVinci Resolve 14 and DaVinci Resolve 12.5.6. So this is the most recent version of DaVinci Resolve 14, um, and I have this static clip here. And what we're going to do is we're going to throw it this exact same clip into DaVinci Resolve twice, then that gives us a total of a 30 second video, you'll see. And we're not going to touch anything else, we're just going to go to the Deliver tab, and we're going to set it for YouTube 1080p, because I feel like that's probably the most common rendering setting. And then we're going to see how it turns out on both. So yeah, I'll be back once I have them both rendered out. Okay, so the one on DaVinci Resolve 14 just finished and you'll see it took 42 seconds to render out both clips. Let's go on to DaVinci Resolve 12. Okay, so this one just finished rendering and we actually do see that it took about 10 seconds longer. Let's see if the file quality changed in between versions. Because static, if you've ever seen static videos on YouTube, you'll see that YouTube plays them at a very low frame rate because it can't compress them properly. Let's see how they both look. They didn't actually look different from what I could see, so, you know, DaVinci Resolve 14 probably does have a more optimized encoder and rendering and all that good stuff, and it's got so many more features as I just realized. So, thank you for watching this video, um, I'll see you next time, goodbye. Oh, sick drift. I just used an entire clip.